Alright, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're talking about the E50M, one of the main tanks I would recommend every single player in World of Tanks Blitz. I mean, this medium tank is the perfect tank for a newer player, as well as a veteran player if they haven't unlocked it. I mean, this tank is an absolute beast, and I love it. It's just very, very good. Firstly, let's get into that. The armor profile is very good. The turret is strong. The hull is also strong. So in terms of armor, this tank is just very, very good. It's far superior compared to all the other mediums out there. Trust me on that. And of course, uh, it's not something that's going to save you against a TD for sure. But against other mediums and sometimes heavies, you will be able to block shots here and there. So uh, that's a pretty much guarantee for you. Now, in terms of uh, the armor profile, what else can you expect? I mean, your side armor is going to be pretty decent as well, so you can side scrape, but I wouldn't say that it's something super duper special. It's all right uh, as well. Now, the gun is also very, very good. The DPM is quite mediocre, but that's because you do have some uh, other good characteristics when it comes to the gun, right? So the damage, uh, penetration, and DPM are all pretty me mediocre on the tank, right? I wouldn't say they're superb. I wouldn't say they're horrible. They're pretty in between. Now, the gun handling is what is very, very nice on the E50M. You have a very good aim time and very good dispersion numbers. Very, very good making the tank very comfortable to use, right? I mean, the DPM is not horrible, the damage is not horrible, and the penetration is not horrible, but you do get very good gun handling. So again, this does mean that the gun is very easy and flexible to use. Because some tanks have very good DPM, have, uh, you know, very good damage, but have very bad gun handling. I would rather choose mediocre, you know, stats in terms of the damage and the uh, the DPM, but I would rather have a very, you know, consistent tank when it comes to the gun handling. So the gun on this thing is also very, very good. So if this tank has a good gun and a very good armor profile, then the mobility is probably bad, right? Well, no, you're wrong because this is the third fastest medium tank when it comes to the mobility going forward. So you have 60 kilometers forward and imagine just ramming into another light or medium tank. You're absolutely going to kill them. Now, the traverse speed is not the greatest, to be honest. It's very, very bad. But, uh, you know, the mobility in general, in terms of the top speed, is going to compensate, right? The effective horsepower per ton is also pretty mediocre. But as I said, the overall mobility, so speed forward and backward, is just very, very good. And lastly, this tank is just an absolute beast when it comes to one versus twoing, one versus oneing. You know, if you can fight multiple tanks, this is the tank to go for because literally you go into a clinch with any other medium or light tank and they will not be able to penetrate you. I'm not even kidding. You just wiggle your turret a little bit, get into a clinch, and they are pretty much 100% finished because simply you are unpenetrate. You are, you're very hard to penetrate for most mediums and lights. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye-bye.